Here we have an early version of the Tilt 5 development hardware. We've got a GoPro looking through a single lens onto the reflective board. At Niffler, we've been working with Tilt 5 now for several years. And the reason we've been doing that is we're excited by the idea of digital board games. Now, that could be as something as simple as taking something like Monopoly and making a digital form. But for us, we think you can go further. So here's our game, Chuck's Challenge 3D. It's a tile-based puzzle game. And you can see the main character here is on the board. Now, he's about four inches here. You can see if you look compared to the controller. And as game developers, it's great for us to physically see what our game's characters look like and feel on a board game. Another thing that we find interesting is this whole idea that you can have quite complex interactions happening. So here we are moving some ice and then potentially pushing some blocks. And in theory, you could do this with a pen and paper, but it'd be quite complicated. In addition, you really wouldn't have any real-time moving of enemies as well. So this is another thing a digital board game can take advantage of. We love the wand. Now, we've been thinking, what happens if you start controlling what with the wand? Perhaps you want him to move to particular squares, or when you're in the create mode of Chuck's challenge, Maybe you use it to draw the game levels themselves. And this you could do with a friend because you could both see the board. We think Tilt 5 is fantastic. It allows you to take a board game and digitally animate it in front of your very eyes. Also, all the rules and fact checking can be done by the computer, so you have more time for fun. And finally, there's the wand, which will create new ways to play. And this is why we're really looking forward to bringing Chuck Chan's 3D to Tilt 5.